So, this is a persistence of vision globe. We have a motor controller, which is taking in 12 volts from this power supply. And using the potentiometer on the back end, we can actually control the PWM signal it sends out to control the speed of the motor. And you'll see that in just a minute as we step it up. But we have the motor using a sprocket and a belt to drive the ring. The ring has a mega on it right now. It's under all that blue tape. The reason it has mega under it under blue tape is because we originally tried to um, use the libraries for the LED strip to control the LED strip on the Dway, but it turns out the Dway does not support it, so we borrowed it and never take the mega temporarily. We are powering the mega by passing the 5 volts positive through the bearing, and you can see the wire there that's touching the bearing as it spins. And it actually spins pretty well. It doesn't reset it as often, but we'll get to that as well. Then on the ground, uh, to pass the ground, it is just touching the actual axle. Ultimately, um, we're going to use the headphone jack here to do it, but we need the conductive grease to arrive for that to work properly. So instead, we're just touching it directly. We have 25 LEDs down the side of the ring, and again, they're wired up to the Arduino Mega right on there. Um, what we'll demo now is we will adjust the potentiometer there and speed up our ring. I'm going to put a plus gas shield just as I do it. So, what we see now is it kind of works. On the camera, it might come out that you can actually, it actually is taking advantage of persistence of vision. It does look like the LEDs are standing still. The one issue that's introduced is, though, is if you see, every time it starts going up and setting each LED red, that means the code has just begun to run. So, it's actually resetting the Arduino, you know, uh, every couple seconds, simply because it's actually losing a connection to either the battery on the top or the ground on or um, the ground, or we're passing the ground that's the top of the axle. Now, we actually bought capacitors to account for exactly this and to continue passing the five volts necessary to run the Arduino for up to a quarter of a second, which, as you can see, is actually enough time to keep the Arduino running accordingly. So, once we get the Mega, then we can affix that permanently to the block of wood we have, which is running as a support. I fix the capacitors and get it up and running. Um, also, that little squeak is going to be addressed by the conductive grease at the top. But overall, this is a good prototype. We show that we can actually control the LEDs using the microcontroller. We can pass the voltage. We can control the motor. And we can spin it up to speed. I'm not going to take it up now beyond the speed just because uh, we haven't permanently affixed everything to that piece of wood. And we're concerned that a piece might come off. And just, I guess, one last thing. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down and speed it up. Um, is that the ring is now a plexiglass ring or an acrylic ring that we cut out earlier today. And it works really well. And then we lashed on all the LEDs. And they're actually fixed on very strongly. So we think this is a perfect solution. And we will probably affix the other ones, perhaps either on the other side of the ring to counterweight it or just right next to each other. Great.